This week on the Linux Action Show, the guys at Jupiter Broadcasting do their review of Own Cloud 5. But this isn't the Linux Action Show. This is OS First Timer. Diana will be trying out Google Chromium OS version 27.0.1441.1 built in March 2013. Chromium OS is the open source version of Google Chrome OS, which is a Linux-based operating system designed to be run on the Chromebook. The Chromebook is a cheap laptop computer that focuses exclusively on running web apps rather than running traditional desktop applications stored on the computer. Okay, so first of all... Just, let's just yeah. get rid of Wall Street. No, first. I've got to show you something on Wall Street. Oh. Now... That's a name for Windows 8. This is the Chromebook. So Chrome OS wouldn't usually be running like this. It would actually be running on this Chromebook. It's a very cheap computer. Look, there's one of them there from Google. $249. Does that look pretty affordable to you? No, oh, that's very affordable. Like that's, anyone could really buy that. It's, it's really pretty cheap. And they've even got um, a few more models, such as like, you know, $199 and stuff like that. But there is going to be a Chromebook Pixel, which is, I think, a more top-end kind of Google Chrome laptop. So that Chromebook that you just saw, this is what it's running. Can you log into it? Well, I'm logging into my one, obviously. The password is the same password you would use for your normal... Google account because you know how you've got yep. Gmail, yep. you've got Google AdSense, you've got all this Google stuff. Yep. That's what you would be using. So there we go. You're logged into it. Right now. Yeah, this is this is the operating system, Chromium OS. Oh, okay. Just the screen looks blank. It looks as if it's about to come on. Oh, okay. It's got no desktop background right now. Well, a grey desktop background, but you can actually set a desktop background. Although you can't because there's a bug right now, but if you if it didn't have that bug, you would be able to set it. So first of all, what time is it? Uh, it says two o'clock. Fantastic. Next, I want you to do a calculation, but first you need to get a kind of a calculator up. Oh, okay. Oh, apps. That might even be in there. Oh, search. Okay, well I'm going to search it. So that's a Google search, and that's just popped up with Google, and a calculator has popped up. The but Google that's from calculator. the internet, that's not from the actual operating system, is it? I'll tell you something. In this one, there are no rules as to how you do the tasks. Okay, well, Just I've, do them. I've got a calculator. So you've got a calculator. Yep. Okay? Yep. It, it wouldn't make a difference. Even though you're using, in fact, the web browser you're using right now is Google Chrome. It's not Firefox. So, Google Chrome comes with Google Chromium and Chrome OS. So, what is Google plus Google? Google plus Google. Yeah, I want you use. I want you to use Google Chrome OS to find out Google plus Google. If you're lost, just I'll give you another one. Give me another one. Okay. What is a Googleplex times a Googleplexian? Oh boy, they don't even have those symbol things on the on the side there. No, not many people use these numbers. So they're numbers. They're actual numbers. Their names of numbers. In fact, do you want to go back to a Google plus a Google? Because that's a bit easier than a Google Plex times a Google Plexian. Okay, a Google plus a Google is two Googles. <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you what a Google is first. A Google, and it's actually spelt G O O G O L, so it's not spelt the same way as that Google. It's a number which is 10 to the power of 100. So 10 to the power of 100 plus 10 to the power of 100 is. 20 to the power of 100? Are you using the calculator for this? But, uh, I can't see any Googles <laughs> in the in the symbols here. There's a sin, a cos, a log, a tan, an e, an inv, but no an Google. An inv? What's an inv? I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> Maybe ants. Maybe that'll give me the answer straight away if I just press that. Ants. There we ants go. Ants equals zero. Ten. Yeah. Then the... To the power of, we'll try to do 10 to the power of. So, 10. Oh, well, I can't put 100 dot zeros there. Yeah. To the power of 100. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. Yeah, plus. Plus 10 to the power of 100. Oh, there we go. Equals. 2e plus 100. There we go. I would have known that straight off there. Really? Yeah. Just so you know, you could have actually typed in a... In, straight into Google, Google plus Google, and that would have told you the oh, answer. Are you kidding me? Let me see that. That's into the actual Google search at the but top. Who calculates Googles? Oh, no, no, no. it didn't. 
I just in typed it in mouth. and it's coming log, log, log. No, you don't do log, log, log. You go into the actual Google and search up there, not in the calculator. See? See, Google plus Google equals just the information. A Google is also known as ten duo trig intillion. Well, I don't think the average person would be doing Google calculations. And, and also, so you know those other numbers, a Googleplex is 10 to the power of Google. Oh. In other words, it's 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 100. And there's also a Googleplexian, which is 10 to the power of a Googleplex. Lovely. Let's move and on to something else. that number, a Googleplexian, is the biggest named number in the is world. Is this a maths lesson or a computer operating system discovery? So can you please write, save and open a text document? Okay, well I'm assuming that this little thing here is like a start menu so I'm left clicking that. So it just opens the Google Chromium web browser. But when I opened the app thing it came up with a search and then it did a Google search so you can seem to access the web browser by two ways. Yep. Well, what's the point of that? I'm going to look up Microsoft Office. Oh, now it wants me to buy it. Well, of course. It's not like Microsoft, you just Google it and then there's a download link and oh, you download it. Where's the Office thing on this? Do, so okay, this... by default, it comes with three applications. Wow, how generous. Three. Apps. You get, well, you get what you pay for. You're paying $199. You get Google Chromium, which is a web browser. You get the store. And What's you get the store? The store is where you get more apps and you get your files. But you have to pay for them. That's like well, an actually, app it's like an app store, but you don't have to pay for all of them. Okay. So do you want to click on store now? I do, because that would be the next logical step to getting a yep. office type. So the store isn't actually a st application. It's actually a web page. See, it's opened Chromium when you mm -hmm. clicked on the store. So here's your store. Now go. So I can purchase Angry Birds. Yes. And the peanut gallery. Yes, but what you want to purchase and the weather bug. But what you actually office. want to purchase is some kind of an office thing. Yeah, business tools. Maybe it's a business tool. Well, these are other computers. What's the point of that? No, these are actual applications. But not the kind of application you think it would be. Well, there's no office here. Can I just give you a clue? Yeah. Can you please go to... Uh, productivity. Office applications, okay. So it's productivity then in that office application. Well I would have thought that's business yep. tools. Okay. Anyway, so they've got it filed under the wrong thing. Sheets in Google Drive. I wonder that whether that's sheets of paper you What's write. below it? Docs in Google Drive. Documents. So would you feel confident with Google Docs? Does that sound like a document writer or something to make documents of some kind? Oh, there's a writer. The internet typewriter. Oh, I don't think so. No, you can use any application, any application here. I I'm, as I'm, long I'm as you can get that one. save some kind of text. So, would you like to so add I'm Google Docs? Add it. Google Docs is now installed on your computer. Okay, so I've got it. Notice what I said though. It's and not I've... technically installed. There's your document application. Was that quick? No. No, as in. You clicked on the application and it's already on your computer. And that bit was quick, but trying to search for it wasn't. There is a feature where you can just type in what you want and it gets it well, to you Well, once instantly. you get it, then yeah. you've got it forever, don't yeah. you? Yeah, so all you okay. do is you do this. If you wanted this again to open it, you click on your apps and, and there it is, Google there. Docs. Okay, I see. And you but didn't have to pay for it? No, it's free. Okay, well, this is a document, so I'm assuming that the save would be, oops, here... I'm going to assume it saves automatically because the save would normally be It says be under untitled five. document. Do you want to give it a name? No, just leave no, it. No, give it a name. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you even ask me if I don't have a choice? Okay, rename. Title document. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> there you go. You're happy now? <laughs> technically, the when it's called untitled document, it is technically a titled document. It's just called title. It's called untitled document. Well, there we go. Now it's a title document. Yeah. There it is. So fixed I'm going to their little mistake. I'm going to get out of it. I'm yep. going to get out of that. But did you notice something? No. What? What? What was that application opened in? So click it again. It seemed to be open in a browser, web yep. browser. Everything's a web browser. Everything. These are all web apps. Okay. So nothing is installed on your computer. 
except for the shortcut to take you to these websites. Right. So in this case it's Google Docs. So now can you open that document? Um, okay, I'm going to go to file and assume there's an open there. Yes, there is. Now you're in your Google Drive. And there's my and there's title your title document. document <laughs> which you can access from any computer now that you sign in to Google with. Really? Yep. Oh. I see some advantages in All you do great. if you log into you Google search Google Docs, yeah. boom, it's there. Wow. But does that mean other people oh no, because I'm signing in under as my your own. name, so your ah, email address. So it's secure. Okay. And do you want to see something else pretty fancy? Yeah, well. Go to Gmail right now. At the top there. Right. You are automatically logged in to Gmail. Your email. Oh, but they're my emails, yeah. they're private. Oh uh, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Automatically, you didn't even have to. Now, can you go on to YouTube for me? It's not YouTube. Why isn't it? It's you. Okay. <laughs> the word you rather than the letter you. There we go, YouTube. Now, what do you notice? I'm You're signed, signed in, in to yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Every single Google service, if you went to AdSense right now, you would be signed in. Or any Google service, you are logged in automatically if you're using this operating system okay. because your login for this operating system is your email address so when you log into your computer you're logging into all your services online okay. that are connected with Google well I'm out of it now what do you think about that? that's great so if you now wanted to change your desktop background how would you do that? not I that you can clicked. well can you try that then? auto hide launcher well what do you want to hide? the launcher now the launcher is currently at the bottom and you can change it to be the left or the right. Oh, so that must be the launcher then, if it's at the bottom. We'll have a little go, change it. The left. So now the launcher there is on is. the left. Oh, it's the so whole it's both, thing. Yeah, it's the whole thing. Oh. Yeah, so the time gets messed up when no, you No, do I don't that. like that. So you like it on the bottom? I do. Okay. okay, I'll give you a clue. That's your profile picture. So you can change your profile picture, but that's it. Settings. Yep, so usually here there would be a change desktop background but next to isn't. appearance, but there isn't. You can click get themes though and you can actually theme the web browser. So choose a theme for your web browser. <laughs> Google Chrome. How appropriate. Oh, now it's gone. Yeah, because you touched it. Oh. So, so try, try something else. Try something else. So choose, choose theme. theme. Oh, here we go. So choose theme. So if we actually go to Chrome now, See? Oh, the background. It's the background of Chrome. Yeah. There is also, what do you think about this? Would have you have thought this is a kind of a maximise button, this one? Yeah, I would have because that... Uh, there yeah. we go. And that actually, look at that. But it doesn't have a minimise. Do you have to press the maximise again yeah, to get minimise? Yeah, to minimise. See? Oh, okay. It doesn't minimise it very much. So if you come over here, you can see. Oh, okay. So oh. there we go. This kind of is a background for your web browser. Notice even up here it's even gone dark yeah, rather than that grey transparent kind of yeah. a look. Now can you turn off your computer and then tell me what you think of Chrome OS? Sign out. That's not really shutting. Oh, Powell. There we go. Yep. There it is. I found it. There we go. And now, and now you're upgraded to oh, Windows it 7. It looked like a bit of a DOS thing just then. No. <laughs> oh, no. That, that, can, that was that, just the Linux kind of thing. Oh, back nightmares. Yep. Okay. Okay, so it's actually shut off. And the reason this is showing is because you were having it in a virtual box. Yeah, so is you, that right? You have like your virtual boxes there, and I just had Chrome OS, and then boom, right. that was up. <laughs> so there we go. What do you think of Chrome OS? Would you buy a Chromebook? I can see the potential advantages in that it is affordable for anybody. You can access your all your things via any computer. So I, I and any location that you're in. So I actually think that's fantastic. Note when it says all your things, that stuff What's happening out there? <laughs> <laughs> Just a helicopter. Westpac helicopter. Okay. Just note that I'm talking about documents here. Mm. When I'm saying any computer, it means if you're on Windows 7, you can obviously access the documents, but all those web apps, that little shortcut and popping up, you won't be able to access that. But you right. can still access the web apps if you know their addresses, because all those applications have a web address. Right. So you can run them all on Windows 7, you just won't have that shortcut thing there. Okay. So if you took your Chromebook or logged into someone else's Chromebook, it would still be your account, all your apps, and you everything like that. Yeah. your password, your email. Yeah. So you, and... What do you think about being logged into everything? So in order to be able to access this, you need a Gmail email. Is that right? 
Google they would account. have to create a Google account, yes. Okay, I see. Well, it's not so hard and it's free anyway, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it's almost most in a way directing people to Gmail and mm. directing people to use Google products over Hotmail and stuff well, like what that. What I found confusing... I mean, look, it's got potential advantages. Yeah. However... I found it a little bit plain, but of course I guess you could customise it with a... Add more apps. Yeah, yep. apps, background. But when I went into the like App Store thing, it wasn't logical what the things were. It seemed almost they were trying to uh, camouflage what the apps actually were. And Tell me exactly what about it you find confusing. Command and Conquer. Now, what is that? Um, what would the says, average person need to command and conquer? Well, it's actually just a game. Oh, it's a game. Okay. Yeah. Evernote. Now, it's what's like, Evernote? Well, click on it and see if it gives you more info. Oh, I don't like this changing thing too when you click. What is that similar Save to? Save all your ideas and experiences in Evernote. Then access them from every computer and phone you use. So it's like documents and photos and apparently using Evernote. If you take a bunch of photos and stuff, it can even not only search your documents for text, it'll also search your photos for text. Gosh, it's like Windows 8. It's very Wall Streety, isn't it? When <laughs> things constantly changing and moving about. Yeah, it seems to be the new way these days. I it's, don't know. I don't like it. It's a good way to compress a lot of information into a tile. Like, there we go. Here's the information. And then you mouse oh, over it I know it what Google Maps is. Yeah. So let me just show you something you didn't see before. Plants and zombies. From this... Thing, if you wanted a specific app, how would you search for it? Can you see a way yes, to search? Yes, search the store. Search. So type in something now that you might use. Well, I'm going to type in Office. SkyDrive, Access to Go, Halloween Come. Soundboard. Well, these don't look like Office. SkyDrive is any file. Well, what's you Halloween know? Soundboard and that ugly man got to do with an Office application? It's been tagged wrong. Certainly has been. Oh, these looks like. Those are themes. Oh, they're themes. See how it says themes? Oh, okay. So okay, what do you Sky think? SkyDrive. What is SkyDrive? Add any file you need, anywhere you need it on SkyDrive. Well, what are the files? Documents, stuff like that. That you create? Yeah. So this is like a... It's like, it's like the same thing as the Google Drive, but it's, it's actually a Microsoft thing. Okay. I'd, I guess I'd get used to it, but I yeah. find this... But you search for something like, exa example, I think because you're searching for Office apps, but maybe if you typed in Word, it might be a bit simpler. So if you wanted Word, Word puzzles. Well, these are puzzles now. <laughs> well... And what's that? Word Joust. The ultimate addictive app for vocabulary. Adaptive, people. not addictive. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say you wanted a calc you later as an app that you can easily access. Okay, here we go. Calculator, boom, there's some calculators. See? That looks like a normal one. Yeah, so if you added that, you would just click Add to Chrome. And so from Aiden, did Aiden put it up there? Yeah. From how so you can you click on it, that? and then boom, there's your calculator. Remember, this is all online. None of these are stored on the computer. These are online applications. But once you get them, they can then be stored on your desktop, right? If you were not connected to the internet, you would not be able to access any of these applications. With an operating system that's an actual web browser, you need to be connected to the app. To exactly. The so the downside, if you can call it that, of a Chromebook is you, you must be to connected be to the internet. You subscribed to the internet. Yeah. Yep, I understand. And if you're not connected to the internet, well... It's useless. It's useless. Basically, Chrome OS, in my opinion, is a web browser. Mm. It's a web browser that they're calling it an operating system. The only way you can call it an operating system is because it has a desktop and a place where you can launch all your shortcuts from the desktop. Well, I do, I do see the potential advantages, but no, it's not for me. No, you wouldn't get this? No.